Hello, welcome to Aira Max um, YouTube channel. Today we are bringing you another episode, and today we are coming to look at how to establish a school. And maybe if you are a graduate and um, um, you are wondering what kind of business to go into. Uh, establishing school is one of them, and today we'll be interviewing um, Madam Sharon. I've mentioned her name already, and uh, she'll be telling us how this journey of establishing this kind of business is. Madam, you're welcome. Thank you very much. Okay, um, what is the name of the school? Okay, so the name of the school is Westside Educational Complex. West Side Educational, Educational Complex. Complex. Yes. Why West? <laughs> um, <clears throat> we chose the name West Side because um, the school was situated on the west side of everything. As in, we are in Western Region, mm -hmm. and Western Region, the district we find ourselves in is Ahanta West. Ahanta West. Yes, okay. and we uh, we were at the west side of the Ahanta West. So, on the map, we are on the west, west. side. Yes. Okay, okay, that's so. Good. Yes, that's why we chose the name West Side. Okay. Yeah. So, what's your role in the school? Um, I'm the proprietress of the school. So that means you own the school? Yes. Okay, that's good. Um, you are a graduate? Yeah, I am. From which institution? Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology. That's Ken University? Yes. So you are the first uh, Ken University graduate um, interview. But you've worked somewhere before? Yes, Where? I have. I was working with a supplying company called direct material supplies okay and i got married and then i came to the western region and then i moved to the teaching field okay so i was teaching at um, bedu bonso okay yes senior high okay yes. but which course did you read at ken university agric agric so the supply firm that you work was it an agric firm no 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 no, no. it has it had nothing to do with agric it has got nothing to do with no, that. No. It was just a marketing company. Company, mm -hmm. okay. And when you were in Bedibo, so what were you teaching? Agric. Agric. Yeah. So that one is in direct, uh, in line with the course you study. Yeah. That's good. So why did you stop to open school or to establish school or to invest in a school? Well, um, it all started when I was teaching at Bedubonso. Okay. And then uh, I happened to be an invigilator okay. at the BEC. And when I was invigilating, I realized most of the kids there were from private schools, all right. Okay. But they couldn't write. They couldn't they, write. They couldn't, they didn't really get. They didn't understand the questions and they were not able to write. Okay. So I was asking myself how come they went to a private school and yet they are not able to do the exams. They can't even understand the questions. The questions and before they, even come to even an answer yes. it. And then another thing I also realized was that um, all the visitors, let me say, do we say visitors? People from outside who come to work in um, the companies here okay. were taking their kids to Takradi. Takradi. So I was asking why they are all taking their kids to Takradi. Sometimes a kid as young as one year and they are taking the child to Takradi. You are, you can find any school around. And then I realized that they didn't really get the suitable school. School to send their children. To. Yes. You know, people had to travel all the we way to, to other, uh, other places just for um, them to get a good school for their kids. So that was when, you know, I started doing my investigation. And then I also had passion for teaching kids. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. So I, I talked to my husband about it. And then we started, you know, doing our own investigation as to how we can come up with a very good school that at least those who are taking their kids to Takade can also um, mm -hmm. attend. Yes, so that so is how come. First, you, you are able to locate a problem 
to a location yeah. and you decide to uh, solve the problem of the hunter west yeah. that's good so um, in the normal trend every graduate would like to finish school and go and look for a job or hunt for a job why didn't you do that and you decided to leave i would say a well-paid job in the school and decide to come and open school just because you saw a problem of students not being able to answer why <laughs> well um the business aspect of it is there all right okay but i wanted to just i wanted a self-fulfilling something so you need freedom i kind of yes i will say that well the reason why i left the well-paid job to do this one mm. was because i couldn't do the double thing i couldn't you know go to school and then come here and run well, school when i school. started the school i was doing teaching. it i was teaching and i was also supervising at this place okay but i it got to a time that i realized my attention was divided okay and for your business to grow grow if you divide the attention your 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 business will also divide i don't know how to put it okay so you, if you, you want more or less pay more attention to one than the other yes so i had to sit down and choose which one yeah. i really wanted and i wanted this one so, so i had to stop so it's not about a salary uh, maybe it's not enough for you or you want more uh, salary and because it's not enough that's why you choose to uh, establish your own business because the business will give you more profit than teaching oh when we that is why i'm saying that the business aspect of it too it's there it's there okay because I, it, I also looked at that one because if i'm to spend all my time there mm -hmm. and look at at the end of the day the, mm -hmm. I, at the end of the month what i'll earn mm -hmm. and then i'll spend all my time here mm -hmm. and then at the end of the month how much i'll earn i i i saw that my job was going to pay you more pay me more than working for somebody so you uh, you encourage you will you encourage the graduates to look for a way of establishing their business than working for somebody well if there is a graduate out there who has been searching for a job and is still wanting somebody to call him or her i think you should try and do your own thing and see it will help okay that's good so what motivated you to venture into the school business instead of maybe a Greek business or something like that. <laughs> I've already said it. Yes, you have. You see, you we, know what? Mm -hmm. um, maybe somebody wants an easy way out. Well, because I, I, I will come to the challenges of establishing school, <laughs> but out of the the, 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 the the challenges, something is still driving you yes yes so <laughs> we want the motivation aspect <laughs> well i must confess when it comes to um the decision of um the school either than going to any other business yeah. i i just wanted to make an impact okay. which that one it's only those who are being driven by something who will do that okay. apart from you getting money i wanted i just wanted to make an impact okay. and i think we are on the way making that impact okay now let's come to the school how many uh, uh, classes do you have like from which level to which level uh, or level of children you admit into the school um we have from the infant okay the infant is the we admit from three months three months yes okay parents so. <laughs> you can if maybe you are preoccupied with your job your <laughs> business and um, you need somebody or a, an institution that can take care of your children so three months yes that is how the do you infant. teach them for them we do 
do just the music um, aspects or we, we just care for them okay at that time that child is not too matured for you to start doing Learning. any input yes okay. so three months we just do some small caring for them okay and then we have the um when we move from the infants okay. you go to the crutch okay so the crutch is from one plus we have one six that is um 18 months okay. upwards okay yes for so 18 months to 24. okay uh-huh. that's those two are years two years okay those are the ones that you have at the crutch okay. those ones are ready for any input that you want to start with okay so we train them from the crutch and then we go to the crutch upgrade okay. the crutch upgrade consists of the the two plus two the three okay and those are the ones that we are starting the pre-writing exercise okay. with and, and they, they write a lot of macroni sketches <laughs> yes <laughs> and um we have to get them ready okay for the main course okay. so that is the crutch upgrade okay. then we move to the nursery okay so nursery we have the nursery one and then we have the nursery two okay and then we have the kg one the kg two okay. then with that you have finished with the preschool then you can Good. enter the mainstream that is the year one to year five year yes. five yes so you have up to year five uh, uh in 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 the local language we we'll say class one to class five a uh, it's yeah year, year one to year five is class one to class six in the local okay. is a b6 okay. yes uh -huh. okay okay so what are some of the subjects or the yeah i would say subjects that you teach from year one to um uh, yeah, year six okay so <coughs> the year one um we do nine courses nine courses nine subjects let me say that nice okay. uh, nine subjects okay that is we have the maths we have english we have um we have um science we have um OWAP, we have history okay rme okay. we have ict okay and um, we have fancy and then we have um um french french yes okay that's good and sometimes to creative arts Creative art. Okay, that's good. So, uh, when it comes to the science aspects, what are the areas that you you, you tackle? Well, um, that one I'll leave it with the the academic to talk more about it. But our system is a bit different from you know the normal system. Okay. The reason why. But which we, system are you using? We have the uh, uh, Ghana uh, Ghana Education Service System. And I think we have the European system. Yeah. So oh, and Montessori. Ours, Can you break it down? No, first? we we don't use the Montessori system. Okay. Ours is the hybrid type. Okay. We have adapted a bit of the GES. Okay. And we have also adapted a bit of the British. Okay. Yes, and we combined it because we realized that the 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 Cambridge one is more practical. Okay. It involves a lot of practical aspects. Okay. Uh, so we adapted that one and then we attached it to the GES okay. so that at least the child will be a wholesome student. So okay. if I may ask, uh, now the way things are going on in the world and if we should come down to Ghana, we are having high rate of uh, unemployment. How are you um, trying to solve unemployment skills from the basic level what are you doing to help them good that's a good question so our kids we try to we try to bring them up in a way that you know they they are not job seekers but they're not job seekers no okay so what we we do is we try to let them look at the community identify the problems in the community and see how best they can solve it even at the yes lower at, level. The, at the early stage yes wow that is what how we do you do, do that them. <laughs> um okay so we start that in year two okay where we give them assignments on how to go to your community look at the problems we okay we started i think the project started in a school okay. so we asked them to look at the school okay you sit down and then look at the problems that are in the school and how best you think you can help the school with those problems and year, amazingly year two will be about seven years 
yes seven, seven years. years eight years yes wow. and amazingly the kids come up with a lot of challenges even in the community even where we are now our streets and everything and yeah, they are able, able to, to pinpoint that this is a yes. problem and they provide that is so, how they suggest solution or yes they, they suggest up, they come up with solutions solution. yes even um, um our perfect yeah for us to be able to choose you as a perfect mm -hmm. you have to come up with a problem you find in the school and how best you think you can solve, solve it this yes and then you will how old um, is uh, how old is the perfect <laughs> Okay, we have 10 years, 11 years, yes. Wow. And they are able to come up with problems and how the problems are really causing the school and how best they, when they come, they can solve those problems for us. Wow. Yes. So from there, we try to introduce them to that. And then we also introduce them to the various, you know, um, jobs we have professions we have okay. and we go into details with them do you teach As, business we don't How to be a businessman no business we, we we don't go there you know the normal you know what we have the professional days in schools okay. and what they do is we dress up you come to school and then okay. we just give them um just um an orientation on all the professions okay but what we have adopted is that if it is we we give you a power notice that we are going to have a professional day and you are going to present on your profession. Okay. So we let them know if it is a medical field that you are going to. Okay. We spell out all the departments in the medical, medical field. field. Okay. And we will let you choose the department in which you want to work with. Okay. And ask you why you, you want, want to yes, choose that. Okay. You want to. And most amazingly, most of them do it because they see there is a problem in the society there was one time that the one child said he wants to be a, a neurosurgeon because he realized that when you are looking for people like that in yes. ghana you, you, you don't find them how yes. old is that boy or a girl it was a boy how old is he I ah, think and he was able to yes identify that yes why has it been to a hospital to no it's because we give them those you know we enlighten them oh, okay. we enlighten them on those things so and we make them watch videos okay of uh -huh, things like that so if the child says i want to be a doctor it's a general thing uh-huh so we, we we go to the detail with details with the child so that the child can actually pinpoint the kind of doctor or the kind of medical officer he or she wants to we be want to be yes that's that, how that, that's good we have so parents uh, you you as you've heard uh this is the best school i think you can bring your children to get early beginning early development to become great so now let's come to the capital aspect mm -hmm. <laughs> somebody is watching you right now okay he or she is in maybe in the secondary school that is a high school somebody is in the tertiary school and that person want to maybe become like you how would the person be able to raise how much capital do the person need to start this we, we have operational cost and startup cost so if you can help come up with an idea a capital range that the person need what and what and what the person need in terms of maybe infrastructure uh, the accessories that is the uh, startup cost then you come to operational cost hmm. if you can bring the two of them hmm. that's the budget in fact um for the school business yeah we have two types okay um if you want to go the normal school okay that one you just need a place okay. that if you want to rent so you, you, you suggest not necessarily going to buy land oh no 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 you can go for a rent you a can be we, we rented uh this place and okay okay we, we started with okay only for students only for students yes so we what we did was we rented the place and then um we set up the place with 
at that time i can't i i don't remember too much but i'm not sure it was that huge so for how long have you been in existence and six remember? years six years now yes so west side um is it an educational complex yes educational uh, complex. is six years old yes okay so what is the budget range one can base on to venture into this business if you want to break it down to maybe somebody who is starting fresh okay so first you need a place that you can start up the business okay and and it depends on the location that you find yourself okay so you have to rent an apartment or if you can build, build. you build okay yes but it should be at least um, um a, 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 a place bigger enough for you to have your playground you should wash have washrooms and other things so um is that GS uh, 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 requirement? Yes, that is a requirement. Okay. You should get a place where the kids can play. Okay. That is a playground. A you classroom. should get a classroom and um, um, bigger enough to accommodate students. And also you should get washrooms and a kitchen. And a kitchen? Yes. Okay. Yes, those are the requirements that will be needed. So well, what is the requirement for uh, a class per student? How many? Well um when you go to um um the crutch and the social welfare okay they have eight to one eight to one so it's eight students to a teacher to, to a teacher yes okay and i think the GES since they are not dealing with the crutch okay they are dealing with the mainstream okay. i think it's 15 above to a teacher okay yes okay. so you get a place and then also you have to get your play items that the kids can play with. Okay. You should get your furniture. Okay. That is the tables and, and the, the chairs, chairs, which are conducive for the kids to sit on to learn. Okay, and, and before the, you even come to the textbooks? Before you come to your stationery. Okay. Yes. And the teachers? And then the teachers that... But if you are starting, yeah. it doesn't necessarily mean you should get teachers in. If you have the knowledge, you can start all by yourself. With one before, class? Yes. Before you go on to employ other teachers. Okay. So, and I always advise that if you are a businessman, okay. you should be on no, top. a businesswoman. Because you are, you are the first anyway. female I'm, I'm <laughs> interviewing. So, yes. more but of if your you are, points you are, to the You are venturing into a business. Okay. You should have much knowledge about the business before... You go into it. And before you even employ someone. Okay. So that if the person is not available, you can do it all by yourself. Okay. So we started and I was on the field with okay. them. Okay. So I started from crutch and I started gradually from the crutch up to the year five. So there is no class that when you put me there, you I can't teach. You can't teach. Yes. So currently, are you actively teaching or? No, for now. You are doing, doing. I am doing yes most Nigeria. of the yes most of the managerial. Okay. 